Hello, my name's David Sugden, and today I'm doing my curriculum knowledge test for mathematics. So, the question today I'll be examining is scenario B, which looks at how the most common answer in a classroom for one half and one third equated to two fifths. Now, we both know this ain't the right answer. However, it's a very basic mistake, which I'm sure you and I have all made in the classroom once before. In this case, the pupils have simply followed the basic laws of addition. So take this example, the numerator, 1 plus 1, they've simply made it 2. And for the denominator, 2 and 3, they've made it 5. However, there is some logic to this. Now take a case where both the denominator is the same, so a third and a third. You can see here, but adding 1 and 1 on the top does equal 2, and this is satisfied. As such, the misconception here is you can't just add two fractions the same without first finding a common denominator. So to address this misconception, I had to first break down this example, and I always believe that maths needs to be done in such a creative way to really engage in students. And what better way to do this than exampling it through Ribena, which, as we all know, is such a great beverage. Now, take this. We have a third Ribena. And we've got a half Ribena. If we mix these together, this gives us five sixths of a glass of Ribena. Now, if we compare this to what the students answered, this is two-fifths Ribena. Now we can clearly see two-fifths versus five-sixths of a glass are very different, and I'm sure if you were served any of these in a school canteen, you'd rather have the bigger one. Now, let's break this down even further and explain the reasons behind this. For instance, we need to first find a common and lowest multiple denominator, this being six. Now, how can we scale a half and a third so we have six on the bottom? Now to do this, to get from two to six, we need to times it by three, giving us three six. And to get from a third to six, well, to get from three to six, that's literally a multiple of two, giving us two six. So hopefully with this, we can see that with three and two on the top, if we add these together, that give us five. And we can do this again, because six and six, we have a common denominator. And this is parallels to our first equation. We've got two threes in the bottom. And together, this gives us five six. And to conclude, I'm sure we can all agree, would rather have five six Ribena as opposed to two fifths of Ribena.